So first thing we're doing, we're taking off the arm of the reel. Moving the drag. I have two of the bolts out already just to make it easier for the display. So we're going to remove the cup from the reel. Alright, so now once these screws are removed, you're going to pull the cup off and you'll be left with the pinion assembly coming out. And then we're going to open up the reel, which has already been emptied and semi-cleaned. We're going to go counterclockwise to open. And then the reel is open. I'm good. So this part we're not touching. And then this part, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the traverse guide. And we're going to pull that out, dump the traverse guide, and there's also the lock washer. So now what we need to do is we need to get this piece off here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the wrench that we made, put that in the key slot. Let me slot. see the wrench, Jim. So you that's, slotted that out of brass. Correct, and then that's going to go right onto the key uh, spanner type kind of wrench. Uh, let me see the wrench, just hold it out flat. And it's going to go into those two groove slots. Okay. And you're going to turn like a regular screw, you're going to go um, counterclockwise. And once it's turned, it's able to hand tight. The ring comes off. And you can pretty much pull this one off. Um, it's loose because I've been taking it off. Um, all you need to do is just put a little pressure right there and it will come right out. Okay, stop that for a second. Tell, tell me what you just did. So what I did was I just took a little piece of fishing line and you could just pull. Ah, hold on. I have a, uh, usually what you can do is say, hold on, do it. So you're screwing that cap back on. So right, you can... so I can pull out the gear. To get the, the cup back on the thing, you can actually just pull the gear right out. And then you want to unscrew the cup, the, cup, the, pinion, the pinion sleeve from the cup. Once it's un done from the cup, you can just pull the gear out. All right, so what we have here is we have the gear that's on here, we have the bearing, and then we have the seal. The seal, in this seal piece, there's two seals. There's the seal here, and then there's the seal from getting the water on top. What we need to do is take off this threaded guide to get the, um, to get the bearing off. Okay, so the first thing what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the press plate, put it in there, we're gonna take this, which is the wrench that we created for this, and you're gonna fit it right in so, and this is grooved so the, the sleeve does not move. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the adjustable wrench here, adjust it to the size. Timmy, slow down. All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put pressure on the piece so it actually gets into the gear a little bit. And again, it's nylon, so it's not gonna hurt the uh, gear. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it clockwise, and that loosens up your gear. So you can take your gear right off. And then here's your bearing, and then there is your seal. So there's two seals. There's this seal here, which seals the, from, stops the water from going up and down. And then there's the outer ring seal, which seals this in within the cup. So that's how, again, you take the seal out of the thing. And you can see this one, it is in stainless steel. You can see the rust and corrosion on it, as well as along with a few others. So if you look closely on the gear, you can see the other side. You can see, actually see the bearing part number. And uh, so it's 6901. Z, which is in a case bearing. If it was a stainless bearing, there'd be an S in front of the six. And there we go. It's a part.